if a person wants to be purposely deceptive uh, to try to get on to the jury, there's very little you can do about it other than ask them certain questions and try to look at them and say, you know, I'm not quite sure I believe this person. That's why we have peremptory charges as well as uh, challenges for cause. There were a number of the jurors who were let go for cause. Now, when you when you get to a certain point, you just have to go with your gut and just say, I just don't like this person. I don't like the way they part their hair, whatever it may be. And you have the right to strike them without explaining for any reason whatsoever. And that's really the safety valve. First, uh, let me just make a small correction here. Uh, the the uh, jury poll comes from the borough of Manhattan exclusively, uh, which voted voted 88 percent, not 85, but 88 percent right. for Biden, uh, 88. Uh, didn't vote 12 for Trump. There were other candidates. That tells you something about getting a fair trial. If this were, since we've had so many discussions here with, with my dear friends and their friends, Jeffrey and, uh, and Joel, who have known for a long time, so concerned about democracy and fairness and the judicial system, we'll change the venue uh, in some place where the president could actually get a fair trial. He cannot get a fair trial in Manhattan, in my opinion.